what many consider to be a place where you don't want to live for a whole school year. It is heard of from a multitude of people that South Hall is a gross and disgusting place to live in, but personally, it is nothing to be worried about. I've lived here for over a month now, and nothing yet has seemed to gross me out. I think South Hall just gets a bad rap. So many t people talk bad about it, but they themselves have probably never lived in South Hall, but just heard chatter from people saying that it is bad. There could be a multitude of different reasons. It is one of the older buildings, and it is not the nicest looking inside. Some people also might be used to the nice new look that modern buildings present nowadays, something that South Hall lacks thereof. It is no different than any other building, except for how it is presented. Like any other hall on campus, each dorm room comes with a variety of options and things inside. First thing is a place to sleep. The loft and bed that is provided is 80 inches long by 36 inches wide, with a height of about 6 feet. A perfect fit for twin size sheets. The next thing that is very nice is the sheer amount of space for clothing and other accessories and toiletries. The room comes with a dresser that has four large drawers and two small ones. Right next to the drawer is a closet. They are 48 inches wide, 24 inches deep, and stretch to the top of the ceiling. Inside the closet, there is a pole hanger and a nice convenient shelf perched right above them. And uh, to close it up, uh, there is a stiff wooden curtain that unfolds uh, with magnets on the end, allowing for a super nice clean look. Upon coming to college, I really wished that I had had a desk at home like the one here. My desk in my dorm room is uh, about normal size and uh, very open with a small drawer and a shelf underneath it. The desk is made fully of wood and is super sturdy. With it, I can put a bunch of things on my desk. Things that I have on my desk currently are two monitors, a keyboard, a mouse, and a microphone. Also, another nice thing is that I have enough room on my desk to study there and a nice chair that is also provided in my dorm. I love the chair too. It is a simple wooden build with a cushion for padding. Right above the amazing desk, there lies a big three-layer shelf. It is a lifesaver. It can hold almost anything you need to go there. Me personally, I love to store all my food there and put my clean dishes there. The reason it is so nice is because uh, if I am a bit hungry, I can just reach up and grab a little something quick. Also, something that I actually really love is the mini fridge freezer and the microwave we that is provided with the dorm. Upon hearing this for the first time, I couldn't quite believe it. I have three older siblings, and uh, they all went to a different college, but they had to buy their own. It is uh, nice to store extra food or warm up your own food whenever you like. Also, having something like a recycling bin and garbage bin to put things in right away makes for a much, much cleaner room. Another nice thing that is provided in South Hall is that the floors are carpeted. All except the bathrooms, of course. This was honestly much of a surprise to me. This would mean no cold feet on the linoleum during the winter months. Something that is neglected among most students is the basement downstairs. The basement includes a lot of extra cool things, such as a couple lounge areas for getting some homework done or just to watch movies on. A piano, so you can teach yourself a new song. Benny machines so you can get yourself a nice, well-deserved snack after long hours of working on homework. If you are a chef or are just looking to cook, then the downstairs is for you. There's a kitchen that anyone can use whenever they feel like making a home-cooked meal. And yes, this means at 3 in the morning. This is also equipped with washers and dryers for all those dirty clothes that your mom isn't going to wash for you. And a pool table if you just want to chill and have fun with friends. South Hall was built in the summer of 1967, and it was built originally just for women, but then changed in 1972. South Hall was being used for upperclassmen only. South Hall is a mix of both male and female, and both normal and alcohol-free floors. The building has uh, four floors, five including the basement, with the first three floors being normal and the fourth floor being alcohol-free floor. There isn't too much information about South Hall, but one thing that is being looked at currently is the renovation of South Hall, after the renovations of North Hall are done. 
No matter what people say, South Hall isn't as bad as it seems. It has all the essentials and more. Also, South Hall has what seems to be only described as a family atmosphere.